Hello? I have another mission for you. All right, what is it now? Dr. Denari Chris is planning another attack. He needs to be stopped. You're our last hope, which he has. Okay, I'll handle it. Good afternoon, Scorpions, and welcome to another episode of Scorpion News Live. I'm your anchor, Jericho Pelosco. Let's start today's episode by congratulating all the ladies of the junior class who participated in the Powder Puff game. Good job on the win, ladies. We would also like to give a big hand to the winner, Mr. Scorpion 2014, Elijah Wallace, and first runner-up, Martin Villegas. Congratulations, guys! Now, let's see today's highlight with Joseph and Ulysses, then after, check out a public service announcement. Hi, I'm Joseph Sandoval, and I'm here with Sarah Weber from Scorpies. So, what is Scorpies? Scorpies is an ROP program that is based for our students to get hands-on work experience so that they can go into the workforce where they're dealing with foods and the culinary qualities as well as getting an education, higher education in the culinary field. We also offer Scorpies Cafe, which is a little bit different. It's um, not just student labs that they're doing, but it's where we're actually preparing meals for our teachers to come in and sit down in a restaurant, and our students are able to serve them. And this program is so the students can get more experience, and it also is great for the teachers to get a low-priced um, meal for really great quality. So why is it that students cannot eat in Scorpies Cafe? Students unfortunately can't eat in Scorpies Cafe because we're licensed to only provide service to so many people and so we're just going to go ahead and keep it open to our teachers at the time, for the time being. And what are the requirements to join? I wish we could all join but unfortunately you have to be at least 16 years of age and then it's also $30 per semester so you have to be 16 and pay a total of $60 for the year. Alright well thank you for answering these questions about Scorpies. And this is it for Scorpies Highlights. Guys, turn to page 382, please. What? Okay, students, semester grades are in. I see a lot of you didn't do very well, so think about this. Is spending time on your phone more important than your education? Nice highlight on Scorpies, who have been serving the staff here good quality food and teaching us important restaurant skills. Also, Scorpions, don't forget to put those cell phones away. Now, let's give another shout out to all of you with 4.0s. You guys and gals will be rewarded tonight with the 4.0 Elite Dinner. Good job on those grades. Scorpions, a friendly reminder that prom tickets are on sale now. You can make your payments that will go towards your ticket. The minimum is $10 to begin your plan. Final payments are due Thursday, April 10th, and $120 with ASB and $130 without. Go to the student store to put in your deposit and begin making those payments. Scorpions, I'm going to take a quick break. In the meantime, tune into our sports segment live for the first time with Oscar and Jessica. After that, check out today's Q-Tips with Karina. Hello Scorpions, I'm Oscar Aguilar bringing you Sports Live for the first time ever. Scorpions, let's talk about the spring season sports we have coming our way. Spring season sports are softball, baseball, tennis, golf, and track and field. Now let's check out what Jessica put together for this sports segment. Uh, hello Scorpion Nation, this is Jeff Howell, your athletic director with a spring sports update. Uh, wanted to let everybody know where we're at in the season. Uh, right now we have golf, uh, tennis, boys tennis, track and field, softball, and baseball. Well, the biggest thing for our team is the Scorpion Invitational, where we invite nine other high schools to come, and uh, we have a one-day tournament, so that's, that's a big deal. 
and in track. Um, we actually have over 200 kids on our roster this year, which is the largest roster that we've had since, since I've been here. Hey Scorpions, this is Coach Diaz, uh, Coach Track and Field. Uh, lots of great things coming out of, uh, out of, our, track, out of our track team. Our, our boys and girls traveled out to Burroughs, participated in an invitational out there, and we took first in both boys and girls. So congratulations to our track team. Hope you guys can make it out to some of the meets and, and cheer on your team. Track team, great job. You guys are doing good. Way to, way to represent the school. Go Scorpions. In softball, head coach Pat Bruckshire expects big things this year from our girls, and we should be contending for a league title. Hey, Scorpions, this is Coach uh, Pat Brookshire of Esperia High School uh, Varsity Softball. Uh, we've had a couple of big games already uh, this year. Uh, upcoming league starts in, like, I think, two weeks from today. Uh, we open up with Apple Valley at home. We'd love to see everybody out there cheering for us. Our goal this year is to win league. I'd love to see you guys out there in full force. Uh, and go Scorpions. In baseball, they've already won three games this year and have a big game coming up April 25th at Sultana High School. We have is uh, next Friday night against Apple Valley. Uh, we open up a league with them, uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, but the game that the boys probably mark on the calendars every year is the night game against Sultana High School, which is April 28th. You know, if we can get the student body to come on out and support the baseball team, uh, the boys really like it when the uh, when student body's out here cheering for them. Uh, what I would like to say to the boys is keep their heads up, play hard, and uh, things will come together. We'd love to see everybody out there supporting our baseball program. In the world of golf, under the direction of Jared Brookshire, the headliner right now so far this year has been Sean Lynch, uh, currently a senior on our campus, just shot a 40 over to Apple Valley Country Club. Hi, my name is Jared Brookshire, head golf coach at this very high school. Um, so far we've had a couple matches this year, haven't been able to uh, place top three yet. Um, we're looking to sneak into maybe the third spot. And besides that, we're not uh, quite midway through the season, but we have a tournament down in Beaumont and a tournament down in uh, Saboba that's going to be a lot of fun for the kids, and they should learn a lot. Thank you, Jessica, for that great video on our varsity head coaches. Hey, Scorpions, good job to varsity for getting that win yesterday against Victor. 14-4, wow. Also, good effort to our other spring sports against their matches yesterday. Good luck to your upcoming events. Well, that's it for today's Scorpion Live News. Go out there and support your Scorpion athletes. Now, let's check out what Karina put together for Q-Tips. Until next time. Hello, Scorpions. I am Karina Mancias, and I'm here with your Q-Tips, which is on Q-Tips. Interesting fact. Q-tips were invented in 1923 by a Polish-born American named Leo Gentesar. He decided to create a pre-manufactured cotton swab after observing his wife putting a piece of cotton on a toothpick. After seeing this need, he decided to make it. Did you know there are other ways to use a Q-tips besides just cleaning your ears? Well, I'm going to give you two of them. First, Ladies, if you're having a problem with your mascara, eyeliner, or eyeshadow smudging, try dipping a Q-tip into a makeup remover or moisturizer and remove the smudges with that. Secondly, if you're finding it difficult to clean dirt from your computer, keyboard, picture frame, or other hard to clean areas, just use a Q-tip dipped in any cleaning solution. Well, that's it for today. Q-tips, until next time. Now seniors, April 8th is going to be our senior panoramic. Don't forget, Scorpions, for the first time at our school, we will be having the Rough and Tough Volleyball Tournament. Rough and Tough is basically powder puff before the guys, so sorry ladies, it's now the guys' turn to show off their skills on the court. Rough and Tough signups have already begun. Go to the student store for a permission slip so you can turn it in, complete it with a fee of $10. Guys, there are only 10 spots available, available for each grade and it's first come, first served. Rough and Tough will be on April 10th and the games will begin at 3 p.m. in our gym and tickets will be $3. Please come by and support. Now, let's check out today's ASL with Stephanie. Hey. I'm Stephanie Hahn bringing to you your monthly dose of ASL. Since spring break is right around the corner, I'm going to show you how to sign, have a good spring break. Like this, 
this is have, this is good, this is spring, and this is break. Remember that in American Sign Language, articles like a, the, and other similar words are omitted. So what you're actually saying is have, good, spring, break. Also, the word for break is actually the word for vacation. So again, we have have, a good, spring, break. That's all for today's segment of ASL. I hope you guys all have a good spring break. Awesome sign for this time of the year, Stephanie. Sophomores, have you thought about going to college when you leave here? Have you thought about VVC? Wouldn't it be nice to graduate high school and have college credit already for virtually no money? Well, next year, our school will be offering select VVC classes here on our campus during the day. Yes, you would attend a college class during the school day and get high school credit and college credit at the same time. Spaces are limited, so talk to your counselor today or tomorrow, but soon. Now, Scorpions, then the third quarter is tomorrow. Make sure all your grades are up. On another note, tomorrow's minimum day, and Scorpions, if you didn't know by now, next week is spring break. Woo! Oh yeah, a week full of good times and fun of the sun. Scorpions, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Jericho Velasco, and this has been Scorpion News Live. See you next time, and have a good spring break. Yeah.